In this recording, we are going to create a new site using CPCC's Google Sites tool. Once you've logged in using your SNAP account and accessed uh, Google Sites, you'll have a list here of my sites. These are sites that uh, you've created in the past. Uh, and you can easily access those by just clicking on the name and that'll take you to the site. If you've never created a site before, just click on the Create New Site button at the top and you're going to give your site a name. So let's let's for example do a demonstration site as the title. Now you notice uh, based off of this title it creates uh, the automatically fills this in and this would basically be the web address of your website. Now note that this is unique to every site. So if someone else at the college is using that address, then you're going to get an error message when you try to create uh, your site. So make sure this is unique uh, and something uh, obvious. I mean, you want your web address to, to be easy to type in if you want to tell somebody, but it also has to be unique. So um, I like demonstration sites, but if I typed in slash demonstration, that might be in use. So maybe I would do something like demonstration four. You know, maybe that's available, or maybe I do demonstration and I specify the the class that I'm that I'm taking um, in the in the uh, directory. Uh, site categories. These are optional. These are mostly sort of like it shows here: marketing, finance. So these are keywords. These are words that would be associated with the site. So we could do you know demo, demonstration. Um, class, project, uh, if it's a history class, type in history. If say I was doing a project on Egypt, um, I could type Egypt in here. These are just keywords. The site description, this is also optional. Um, but you could type in a, a brief little demonstration site for students, just a brief little description about what the site is. Um, and now you get to choose who you're going to collaborate with. And this is everyone at the college. Only people that I specify can view this site or anyone in the world. And this is basically uh, specifying whether or not your website is open or is not open. Generally, for everything you're going to do at the college, this is fine. You don't need to do much more than just make it available. This allows students that may be in class with you or your professor to do a quick search and easily find you. Um, only people that I specify. Uh, this would be if you wanted to do a website and, uh, and, and not make it available for anyone to see uh, except for perhaps the people that you're on a project with. Let's say I'm in a class and we're uh, team A and team B and we're competing and we're building this site as a, as a, as a project and we're, we're, we don't want the other team looking at what we're doing, then I might choose this and invite the 10 students that are on my team with me to have access to it. Um, and then this right here you can you can check in addition to and this would choose whether or not it's actually published up as a web page that anyone in the world would be able to go see. Um, the site themes, these are designs. This is basically how your site would look. Uh, the default is fine. You've got a simple white and black design here. You can click on more themes and It'll expand out a bit and give you a, a lot of different ones that you can choose from. Uh, for this demonstration, we're just going to stick with the default theme. Scroll down and then click on the Create Site button. It's going to think for a minute. And there we are. Now we have our website. So in the next video, we're going to get into how to uh, create our site, how to develop uh, site uh, content and structure.